Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very interesting homemade equation. I guess you could call it exponential, maybe logarithmic, maybe both, whatever. We have this equation, ln x to the power log x equals x squared. Log x here is with base 10 and ln x is the natural log with base e. And we have a quadratic on the right hand side, right? Can it get more interesting? If you do know of any other ideas, please let us know. If you have any problem ideas like this one, please let us know in the comment section down below. All right, great. So we have ln x to the power log x equals x squared. Now we're going to solve for x values. We're also going to look at something interesting at the end, which is the graph of both of these functions. So let's go ahead and approach this problem with different methods. First method is going to be the u substitution. Can we solve, can you solve this equation? Not you, you, the letter, okay? So we're going to go ahead and substitute. What can I substitute? Maybe I can replace ln x with something. How about calling this u? u equals ln x. From here, by definition, we get x equals e to the power u. And then you can pretty much replace x with e to the u everywhere. So replace ln x with u. What about log x? Let's just log both sides here. That gives us log e to the u, which you can write as u times log e. Just remember that log e is a constant, okay? It is a constant. So now we can go ahead and write this as u to the power u log e. And then that is going to equal x squared, which is e to the power u squared. And then we can go ahead and write this as u to the power, e to the power 2u. And if it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. All right. So we can kind of write it that way. And now one thing that should get your attention is the presence of u on both sides in the exponent, of course. So I can probably do the following. Let's just write this as u to the power log e and then raise it to the power u. And this can be written as e squared to the power u. Notice that we could also switch these around. Right? Now, what does that mean? It means that if u is equal to 0, then we might have a solution because both sides will be raised to the 0 power and that will give you 1. But what about the left hand side? Don't we have a u at the bottom? I mean the, in the at the base, which is going to give us 0 to the power 0, which should also be 1, right? For many people, I think. Anyway, so u equals 0 seems to be a solution. But u equals 0 implies that ln x is equal to 0, which means x is equal to 1. And you can definitely check this. Is x equals 1 a solution? Let's go ahead and check it out. We have ln x to the power log x, and that should equal x squared. If you replace x with 1, you get ln 1, which is 0, and then log 1, which is 0, equals 1. And as you know, 0 to the power 0 is equal to 1, right? If you don't believe that, go ahead and watch this video. Hopefully, that'll convince you. Okay, if that doesn't convince you, then I'll make another video. All right, cool. So, let's take a look at an alternative. What would happen if we used substitution differently, right? So maybe replace log x with something. And you don't want to use u. We don't want to use u several times. Uh, so we want to use something else. How about t? Let's go ahead and call this t. If log x is equal to t, that means x is equal to 10 to the power t, which is nice. And then we can go ahead and Find out ln x from here, that should be ln 10 to the t, which should be t ln 10. Nice. ln 10 is again a constant, so ln x we can replace with t ln 10, raise it to the power t, and that equals x squared, which is 10 to the power t squared, which you can write in so many different ways. t ln 10 to the t equals 10 to the power 2 to the power t. And again, we kind of run into a situation where we can kind of replace t with 0, right? And t equals 0 will give you the exact same solution. But here's one thing that I want to, I want you to think about. After setting t equals 0, we're good. And then what happens if we just 
eliminate the T, right? It's kind of like cross it out and then suppose T does not equal zero anymore, we get the following equation, T ln 10 equals 100, and then from here T equals 100 divided by ln 10. Now what is T? T is log X, let's go ahead and set this equal to log X, and then from here, log X equals this implies X equals 10 to the power 100 over ln 10. Is that a valid solution and can we simplify this? So one of the things you can do is 10 you can always replace with e to the power ln 10 and then you can kind of replace, uh, raise it to the power 100 over ln 10 and notice that the ln 10 cancels out leaving us with e to the power 100. So that looks like a solution doesn't it? But we're going to look at the graph at the end so hopefully that'll give us a better idea. Why didn't we find it with the first method? Because I did not proceed after I uh, got rid of the use. If you do get rid of the use and proceed with that, you should be able to get the same solution from there as well. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at a different alternative, something that is really cool. Because this actually, this problem, the idea for this problem came from an identity and I'm going to share with you what that identity looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and first write the original problem and now I want to convert it. So here's what I'd like to do. I want to raise both sides to the power 1 over log x. That's actually going to be real cool because I want to show you something. Okay. When you raise both sides to the power log x, log x is going to cancel out leaving us with x squared to the power 1 over log x. So I can write it as x to the power 1 over log x to the power 2 equals ln x. I don't know if I should write it this way or the other way around, no big deal it should give us the same thing. But right now, here's what I'd like you to think about. What is x to the power 1 over log x? In other words, we can use the change of base here. So 1 over log x is basically 1 over log x with base 10, and then that can be written as log 10 with base x. So x to the power 1 over log x turns into log 10 with base x, to the power, to the power, actually it's the other way around, never mind. <laughs> x should be at the base. So in other words, this turns into x to the power 1 over log x, which is log 10 with base x, right? Okay, so what does that mean, log 10 with base x? It just means that you have something like a to the power log b with base a. When these are equal, they cancel out, leaving us with b. So this is always b. So this is going to be 10. Awesome. That is 10. So then we square the 10. That gives us 10 squared. So from here we get ln x equals 100, which means x equals e to the power 100. And that should be the same answer that we found with the second method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and then we'll finish up with that. I really want to show you what that graph looks like because remember, we came up with two solutions. One of them was x equals 1 and the other one was x equals e to the power 100. But why doesn't the solution 1 for, uh, come from here? Because when you have 1 over log x, it's undefined. That's why you have to be very careful. So let's go ahead and look at the graph. First of all, log 10 is 1. I wrote this because thanks to Desmos, it recognizes log without the base as base 10, but Wolfram Alpha, unfortunately, cannot do it. Anyways, good job, Desmos. Now, let's go ahead and look at the graph of these two functions. And as you can see here, one is a solution, but what happened to the other solution that is e to the power 100? That's such a large number. You know what happens? These curves will intersect at that point, but that's way too large to fit onto this screen. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.